Hello and welcome to Warhammer Wednesday. In this video, I will be unboxing and reviewing this uh, Space Marine Mark IV Command Characters from Forge World. One of these little clam packs will set you back £27. You could buy a tank for that. But it's two guys in here in the Mark IV armour, so let's open. These are a couple of my favourite miniatures in Mark IV armour. Definitely one of my favourite command sets. Uh, this will fit very nicely with my Mark IV company. Why are they giving me these small bases? I suppose it would be too much hassle to start opening all these boxes and replacing them with the 32mm. No instructions as usual, but what you also don't pay for is a broken oh dear already pretty bad but luckily it's just a short bit and we can fix that good job I noticed that though one breakage that's not too bad so let's move these silly silly mini mini bases out of the way we don't need them um, right let's look at the models themselves first of all I need to keep that in a safe place so this guy here he will be the uh, guy that holds the the banner in place it's mark 4 both of them mark 4 armor and um, so it's Probably now what you're used to, um, seeing the Betrayal at Calf box set. Nothing really's changed. It's got a bit of a sort of loincloth thing going on. It's just a plastic Mark IV, but um, in resin. So that's that. Power packs look exactly the same as the plastic counterparts. If anything, a little less detailed. Just in there, I'm talking about not as much depth. Um, we've got the sword, which looks sort of bent-ish and that you just know that bit there is just going to tear away when I clip it I might have to use the pl one of the plastic ones but that's the power sword anyway it's not for him it's for the the other guy which is here this is the guy sort of slowly walking forward again not too much detail I will be doing a separate video this has sort of triggered me <laughs> it's triggered me it's triggered me to do a comparison video between Mark IV resin and Mark IV plastic. It might be an unfair one because I know that they refresh their Mark IV, you know, like five Space Marines set in resin a little bit after the plastics came out. So that might be an unfair comparison because these models might have been around for three or more years. I will do it anyway. I might even buy a set of five resin ones um, and just try and compare them because they are in slightly different poses so there we go so this is just the the other guy the captain i think he is here we have heads and things so we've got the, the brush helmet and then we've got his little face his face here looks a lot nicer than on the the website on the website it looks like he's sort of constipated not that that's a bad thing it happens but uh not something that you sort of want to be giving inspiration to your troops there we go so that's that and then this is where his other helmet is and a nice little motif there so we could sort of say that that goes like that in a way and then his head goes yeah and then this is the other side of his massive cloak thing so two of those and then this lovely banner itself plenty of uh, space to put your freehand work in i love the folds in it you can do this with green stuff if you're moderately skilled I haven't really tried myself, but there are plenty of videos out there on how to do it. I love this top part of it. It's very sort of Romanesque. This whole thing is very Romanesque. Romans in space. And then obviously that, was, that wasn't meant to break off, but that was connected to the bottom of the, the banner. And then this is just the shoulder pads. The banner bearer for his right and for the captain for his left, where his power sword would be. But they're nothing sort of new with those. So there you go, that's all of the Mark IV command set, just two uh, Mark IV Space Marines. What I'm going to do now is go away, wash them, glue them all up on bigger bases and uh, give you the rest of my review. So join me in part two. And welcome to part two. So these models are both uh, complete, just zoom in for you, there we are. So what you've got is a Space Marine Commander and a Standard Bearer in, in the uh, Mark IV Power Armour. This guy doesn't have a helmet. I don't think you could put a helmet on unless there's a reason why he's got a helmet and he's carrying a helmet. But there we go. So you're going to have to be painting this guy's face. Such a lovely sort of detailed model. I'm not sure when this came out. It must have been quite a few years ago. I don't think it's that new. But really nice looking model. Um, plenty of detail. Plenty of sort of like 3D detail. If that makes sense. Um, compared to you know like the plastic 
Mark IV. I really like this uh, Commander. And uh, both of these, of course, are going to be in my reserve company, which is mainly made up of Mark IV armour. And I've said it before, my chapter, each company, their command squad is, is very specific to the types of units that are in that company. So Mark IV, these guys are going to be in the, in the command squad there. So that's the uh, commander and then the standard bearer. Let's just zoom out a little bit. There we are. So lovely sort of brush head reminiscent of Roman times, especially with the cloak as well. It's very like Romanesque, um, especially as this is for a legion. Um, some uh, pouches there, a little bit of a hole which I need to plug. And the banner is fantastic, gives you a great canvas to sort of freehand. Um, it's going to be quite difficult because there's that crease, but yeah, really nice. Nice clean banner at the top. It gives you a chance to put like an icon in there or paint something. Um, I'll just leave it as it is. Yeah, lovely standard bearer too. There's no real reason why you just can't have both of these in a 40k command squad. I've seen plenty of um, 40k armies that have, you know, Mark III, Mark IV power armour for their stern guard, things like that. Just to recap, both of these guys, I set you about £27, which is a huge amount. But when you consider that a lot of their sort of single characters now in plastic are getting to be... 20 odd pound anyway, 27 pounds, it's basically 13 pound each, isn't too bad. I've just noticed that that's on a bit of a wonk. So what I'm gonna definitely do is just heat it with the hairdryer and just put it so that it's uh, flush with the rest of the banner. Quite easy to build and uh, construct. What I'd also like to say about these two chaps is there are a few other command sets that Forge World do. These are the Mark IV. Um, I think they're all the same price, but they also do a Mark II, so the Crusade armour. They do a Mark III iron armour variants, which is great because the guy's sort of like taking his sword out of the sheath. The Mark II, one of them's got a thunder hammer. It's, it looks a bit like a broom, but there we go. And then they also do a Sons of Horus sort of set with the armour and one guy's got an axe or chain axe. And then they do an Imperial Fists one, which I really like because he's got the helmet on and he's putting his sword upwards i might get that and either chisel the fist symbols off or just paint them gold and not you know they're not, not going to draw much attention they're quite small fist sort of symbols um but i really like that set and that sets in mark 4 power armor 2 they don't do a mark 5 or a 6 so if you're building a chapter or companies and you want different sort of banner bearers that are way way better than the, the plastic ones well in, in my opinion then forge one might be the way to go to get those in slightly different looking they'll be very unique as well if you had a small space marine force and a command squad and you had you know these two guys in in your command squad and that's the end of my review thank you for watching the emperor protects